Hello, hi there. This is a reading for Leo Masculines for the incoming month of November. My name is Jess with Key Tarot. Happy to meet you guys. Welcome and welcome back. I'm going to start us with a quick blessing here and then we'll just start shuffling. Alrighty, Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We're so grateful for your presence in our lives all the time. And we ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. Alrighty, guys, what do we have for our Leo masculines for the month of November? I'm happy to meet you guys. Thanks for lending me your energy for this reading. Ah, oh, jeez. You cuties, I already have good vibes for you. I really do. Let's see. The tower. That's our first card out. The tower. That's a big kaboom. Yeah, it sure is. Um, tower can feel like something that comes out of nowhere. Just something that comes out of nowhere. It can be a, a surprise. It can be a happy surprise. It can be an unwelcome surprise. Just kind of depends, right? Let's see. Oh, golly. Something that takes you inward. The hermit. Now we have pause for reflection. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I got the two of cups. All right, we're looking at a partnership here. Yeah, you were not expecting this. You were not expecting this at all. And now we are pausing for a reflection here. <laughs> it's adorable. Ah. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, it's so true. Let's see here, I got the eight of pentacles. I have you working really hard on yourself and willing to put in some work on something that you want to work on. Okay. All right, no, I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to clarify with another deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get really into this in a second because I am quite intrigued already and I'm in a really excited place for you. It's like, uh, oh my God, the Ten of Cups. Ah, oh, gosh, watch me geek out some more, guys. The Ten of Cups is like complete emotional fulfillment. It's, at, it's happiness. It's, it's a tremendous amount of love headed your way. All right. Perfect. All right. I got the queen of pentacles out on top of that. All right. On top of that, it's about your stability. And I have that you are, it's absolute stability. The, the queen of pentacles is very nurturing. All right. It's a Virgo Taurus Capricorn feminine energy, but specifically, again, don't get hung up on the zodiac. Y'all are kind of crooked. Just as I have my picture. There we go. Eh. All right, all right, good enough. Um, so the Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing energy, and that's coming to, right on top of this Ten of Cups. It's you nurturing a situation, you absolutely being willing to put the work in on something. Hold on, I gotta get a couple more out with this deck real quick. Thanks. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. Mm -hmm -hmm. Perfect. All right, what's that? Ah, golly, golly, golly. All right, the Eight of Wands in reverse. I got the Devil. I got the Five of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups here. We're talking about a couple of different situations in your life. Eight of Wands in reverse is a miscommunication of some sort with this Devil card that came out right on top of it. Um, we're talking about some kind of enslaving energy, something that you're just waiting on the time to tick out on here. Something that you... Um, you got to put it down. The devil card is addictions, their obsessions, their stresses, their worries. This five of swords in reverse can be worrying about what other people think. It's keeping up with the Joneses. It can be like verbal bullying. It can feel like gossip around you. It can feel like a lot of conflict, a lot of verbal conflict in your life. And with this five of cups right with it, we got two fives in a row there. Fives are about conflict, chaos that bring, and chaos that bring upon change. All right, but this five of cups in reverse it says, can we please end the insanity? Stop the insanity, right? So the Five of Cups, interesting card. Five of Cups, especially in this deck, this is the Tarot of Wonderland by Barbara Moore. We have Alice reaching for those empty cups up there. She doesn't realize they've all spilled out. She's going to keep trying and trying and trying to reach them, but once she gets them, they're not going to have anything that she wants anyway. Well, meanwhile, she's ignoring the two that are down there at her feet, which is what she really needs to be focusing on, right? It's basically the definition of insanity. It's reaching for the same thing over and over again and expecting a return for an empty vessel, right? Whenever it's in the reverse like this, it's time to look at that. It's really time to look at something. So let's get into this. Let's clarify all of these because there's something coming in with some kind of soulmate relationship here 
that's really changing things for the better in your life. But there's this energy over here at the end that we gotta we gotta sort out here. So let's let's get into it. Let's use this star power tarot. This is a great deck. It's very badass. I love it. Um, what uh, is this tower situation we have for our Leo masculines? Sorry, that's so loud, right? Ah, three of swords in reverse. That's our breakup card, I gotta tell you. Um, three of swords, especially with this deck, right? So uh, it's the three of swords is, is the breakup energy. It's heartache, grief, and pain. When we have it in the reverse, I have someone that's already gone through this and they're healing from it. It's a slow easing of that heartache, grief, and pain. It's a healing process. Um, you know what it's like anytime you get like a cut or something. It, it's, it's painful while it heals. And then all of a sudden, day by day, it gets better a little bit at a time, right? And then all of a sudden, we can take the Band-Aid off and it's like, wow, it's fun. It's fine. It's not quite fine yet. There could have been a breakup in the past. Yeah. <laughs> could have been a breakup in the past. Probably definitely was because I have the death card out here for you. That's a definite ending, right? Yeah. Um, it's a definite ending. And we have to understand that, that things have to come to an end for something new to begin, right? From every ending comes another new, from every beginning comes another, I, I don't remember. You, you know the words, like it's a lyric from a song. From every new beginning, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. There it is. Woo. It's like Swiss cheese, it's like getting those gears to grind, right? <laughs> Yeah, Nine of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse, that's our Wounded Warrior card. All right, the Nine of Wands. That's somebody who's putting up a lot of boundaries around themselves, and it's not for um, no good reason. You, the Wounded Warrior is putting up boundaries around themselves be, for a reason. Um, whatever this situation was, it caused you to really question some of the boundaries you've put in place in the past. Yeah, and wishing that you'd maybe put some up sooner. <laughs> but now we've learned a lot. We've, we've learned a lot. So you've maybe gone through an ending of some sort. Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. Ah, golly, this was somebody that you once had a ton of passion for, and now you don't. The Ace of Wands is our most sexually passionate card in the entire deck. Whenever it's in the reverse like this, it's a complete deflation, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. And you're so over it. You're so over it. Ah, that's what I'm hearing. I'm so over it. I'm so tired of hearing, I'm, I'm hearing that you're very tired of investing in that any longer and investing in the emotions previous to this. Yeah, you're not going to do it anymore. Good. Yeah, the five of pentacles in reverse. Um, this per Whatever you're moving on from, the person you're moving on from, the thing you're moving on from, whatever energy it was that you had attached yourself to previously was something that wasn't giving you very much in return. Um, this five of pentacles in reverse can be financial loss. It can be poverty. It can be feeling left out of your friend group. It can, it can feel like... Um, having to be alone in a place where you really should be in a partnership, but you really not feeling a partnership. You're really feeling on your own. Specific to this deck, this is a very badass deck. It's like, it's, I don't know, maybe we call them zombies. I don't know, it's very cool. But in here, this card, it says, some give more, a tattooed across her forehead, right? And in the reverse, it was like that person didn't give you nearly enough. They really didn't. And it's a lot of toxicity that they gave you. Look, I've got the five of pentacles, the five of swords, the five of cups, five, five, five. What did I say? It's an energy of chaos and conflict, but it brings change. Fives are about change. Now, five, 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 that's about, that's about changing your life. And that propels us into the six, 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 which is about having to focus attention on where the toxicities have been in your life. Let's just blow through that whole step right and move past that now that's and you're you're ready ha 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 that's so funny um yeah because i got the knight of swords here and then i got the chariot out on top of it what did we say yeah you're ready so the knight of swords is somebody who blows in really quickly they move through things really quickly they process things quickly they um they get to the point very quickly they're they're um messengers and the chariot card is a time to move it's time to move it's time to go mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and you're willing to do the work on whatever this is. It's going to bring you absolute emotional fulfillment once you blow out of that energy over there. That It's a breakup energy. Let's be honest. It is. It came in. You weren't expecting it. It made you go within with this hermit card. It's been a real drag. I get it. You weren't expecting it. You weren't expecting this to happen. Knock your socks off. Now we're dealing with it, but now we're seeing things for what they were. And now we're seeing what it is that we really, really want. It's an energy you're going to move through really quickly because um, you're smart. <laughs> you are. You really, really are. You know what you want and you know it's not that. And you're willing to put the work in on yourself and you're willing to work in a partnership that brings you emotional satisfaction as well as financial stability. Um, this is, um, you're actually, you might be a single parent who is looking towards building a home life for yourself. Two of Pentacles, bringing balance back in. Very good, very good. Learning how to juggle things, learning how to, um, how to manipulate your life in the most positive way, learning how to go with the flow. Queen of Swords, very good. I got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords for you. Those are really good energies. It's like now I see the truth, now I see the light, now there's transformation that happens with that Queen of Swords energy. Now I can speak the truth, I can see the truth, and now I can change my life for the better. Very good. <laughs> And I got the world card. Oh, good news. The world card, I talk about it all the time. It's not like turning the page and starting a new chapter on a book. It's closing that book, putting it on the shelf, and starting a whole new volume for yourself. That is you. Look at that. It's amazing. You are starting a whole new chapter, and it's actually pretty exciting. Now, the things that we really need to address, the things that you really need to look at so that we don't ever get back over here in this Ace of Wands in reverse, Five of Pentacles in reverse, Death card, Three of Swords in reverse, Tower kind of energy ever again, is we got to look at these fives. We got to look at this Five of Swords, this Five of Cups, and especially with this Devil card, which is the number 15, which as we know, it's a multiple of five. Yeah. All right. But it's really about energies that enslave us. It's toxicities, right? It's chaining yourself to something almost on purpose. All right. And you, you did this somewhere in your life. And you allowed that to enslave you. It was almost like a rat race for you. And we got to look at that. There's been some miscommunication on your part or on the part of another person where you just weren't able to clearly communicate yourself before. Um, and you were expecting someone else to change. They didn't. It was a letdown. This Five of Swords is um, kind of worrying about what other people think. And that could be why you stayed stuck in this devil energy for so long with this devil energy on you. Um, but now we can't, we can't, this new chap, this new volume is here. You can't do it anymore. You can't stay stuck like that anymore. It's just not a possibility. That's why this tower comes in. It comes in to not, it doesn't come in to cause a problem in your life. It comes in to solve the problem. It comes in to bring a solution. Because anytime we have a tower, oftentimes in a traditional deck, um, it will depict the tower as like a, um, a faulty turret on a castle wall that's being hit by lightning or something. It's like something that comes from above that shows you where the um, false foundations were, where there was a, a problem in the foundation of a relationship or a situation in your life. And it shows you, it, it opens up your eyes. It turns, turns on the light bulb, you know, the light switch as to what you need to be paying attention to for yourself. Yeah, I got the Ten of Wands. Uh, the Ten of Wands talks about a burden that's too heavy for you to bear any longer. It's something that you have to put down um, or else it's going to be put down for you. Very similar to that Tower energy. Again, 10. We got 10, 15, 5, 5, 5. Huh. 
Ah, uh, this is my favorite. When you start with one card and you end with the same card. Tower, tower. You got the tower two times out now. All right. This is a new beginning. It's a new start. It's scary. The tower can be scary because like I said, it's unexpected. It comes out of nowhere. It knocks your socks off. It pulls the rug out from under you, right? Yeah, but here's the thing. The tower is actually the realization that things can't keep on the way that they have been going on. That's the tower, is the realization of, oh, look at all this chaos and all this conflict. No, I can't support this anymore. If it's not, if I don't drop this, it's gonna be dropped for me. No one can handle this much enslavement, this much rat race for this long. That is the tower, is the realization that we're continually reaching for empty cups, expecting someone else to change, and it's not happening. It's just not happening, and it's a repeating pattern. Alrighty, I'm gonna get a couple more out here for you. You know what? I know. I know they're not great cards to start and end with the tower. Like, nobody really, like, people always get nervous about the tower, even though it's really a gift from God when you get it. It really, really is, because you don't wanna be living in a castle that that's faulty like that's that's going to fall apart at any moment it's better to just rip the mandate aid off and deal with things the way that they are right um but when you give me the first card at the beginning and the first card at the end that tells me you understand that tells me you know where you're at i love it all right just a couple more out for you we're gonna use a traditional rider weight deck here real quick like Anything else we need to tell y'all? Leo masculines for the month of November. Thank you. Two of two of wands in reverse. Okay, this is somebody who doesn't know where they're going. They're not sure. Two of wands is about seeking partnership. It's like, I know where I want to go. I have something to offer to somebody and I want to share it with somebody. Whenever it's in the reverse, it says, I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know who's coming next in my life. That's okay. It's not a bad place to be, I promise. Okay, but we do have the moon in reverse. Okay, the moon is about underlying issues. And when we have it in the reverse, I could have you maybe being a little bit naive to this, maybe not, not doing, hold on. The moon in reverse can be about denying something. Now I got the two of cups out again. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Two of cups right there, twice out for you. This is, we're talking about a soulmate partnership here. What do you want that partnership to look like? Is it gonna be continued? Are we gonna continue to have these tower moments here? Are we gonna continue to have the devil energy here? Are we gonna continue to have the five of cups here? I know it seems like I'm busting your chops here. I'm not, it's really your words. You're busting your chops about this. It's not me. I love you. I just want you to be happy, but you're asking yourself to address this with all of these fives here. And you're asking yourself what a partnership really looks like for you, what that's gonna look like if it's supported, if it's supportive and reciprocal. And you deserve that, right? You definitely deserve to have that in your life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Knight of Cups and King of Wands. Yeah, you're looking at, okay, you're looking at where you want to put your heart. You're looking at your sex life too. All right, we got to look at these things. The, in the past, not so great. Would we have the Ace of Wands out in reverse? What I say deflated in the past, not working for you. Look, you got to put your heart in a different place. You got to go in a different direction than this, right? And then this guy comes back around. Yeah. The King of Wands is about bravery. It's about taking action. It's about um, it's about your sacral chakra. That's your sexual chakra. That's important. It's what it's your creative center, right? The Knight of Cups is somebody who knows where they want to put their heart. They know who they want to give their love to. That King of Wands, they are somebody who goes after what they want, and they um, they lead the charge in absolutely. Now, when he's in the reverse, he can be cowardly because he feels insecure. That's not gonna be you. This is your card. This, the King of Wands is the card of Leo. That's you. This is who you wanna be. In the past, you've been off balance. Whatever this situation, whoever this person was that kept offering these fives, whether that was you or another person, that energy, it's gotta go because it has left you not feeling like yourself. We gotta get you back in the upright, okay? We absolutely do. How's that gonna happen? 
Well, you got to stop. Uh, you got to stop letting people give you stuff that you don't want anymore. Yeah. And you're starting to see that, that you can't keep accepting this, not from yourself and not from another person. And if somebody is giving you things that you don't want, you got to tell them the truth. That's where this Queen of Swords energy comes in, where you can clearly articulate what it is that you need in your life. Yes. You have not been very communicative in the past. Ah, again, <laughs> you're really busting your chops about this, but it's, it is true. These are things you need to look at. You haven't been sharing your voice in the way that you should have. Yeah. And it's caused some issues here, some miscommunications. Mr. Communication. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, so this is your reading for the month of November. I'm waiting. I can't wait to meet up with you guys again soon because I want to see how this is all going to shift out of your life because you're really going inward with this permanent energy. You really are. You're making some changes. I know you are, and you're really looking at stuff now. This tower two times out, you ain't got no choice but to look at it, right? Okay, Daddy, I love ya. All right, Leos. I'll see you soon. Bye.